After the demise of fun publications and the loss of the annual BotCon convention, the Transformers fandom at large could no longer wet their throats with obscure character repaints of retail figures. Believe me when I tell you that there was mayhem. Riots erupted across the globe as dozens of reeing Transformers fans took to the streets in attendee-fueled rage. Statues were toppled, world leaders were assassinated, empires crumbled, and the price of gas increased by 20 cents per gallon. The world was on the brink of collapse when suddenly Hasbro came riding out into the field on horseback, brandishing a new weapon to send the horde back to the pits of TFW. Generation Selects, a brand new line of online exclusive repaints, at least if you're a burger like me, that would delve deep into the obscure mythos of the Transformers. Or sometimes just pump out a repaint that normal stores wouldn't carry due to oversaturation. Welcome to Kit Catastrophe, my name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at Transformers Selects Deluxe Class Smokescreen. This figure was released in 2019 as part of the Siege-themed assortment of Selects, and is a redeco of Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Barricade. Alright, fourth verse, same as the first. Select Smokescreen transforms into an identical bar of soap as did Prowl, Blue Streak, and Barricade, but Smokescreen gets a leg up over all three of them by actually having some color. While Prowl and Barricade were pretty standard and boring police variants, and Blue Streak a civilian one, Smokescreen takes this ellipsoid automobile and turns it into a racing model. The super long nose of the vehicle mode helps along the overall aesthetic. Smokescreen looks like he's built for power and straight line speed. Naturally, Smokescreen's deco is a Cybertronian abstraction of his original Generation 1 racing livery, which was based on a real life car. Personally, details like that don't bother me so much, but I guess there are some people without enough problems in their lives to care about such a thing. What does bother me, at least a little bit, is the fact that the red used on much of the top side is a lot darker and muted than it really should be, looking more like an earthy terracotta brown than a true racing red. The white stripes running from the headlights to the rear wheel wells, however, is sufficiently bright and runs along smokescreen's curves nicely. The front bumper and side boards feature a white stripe running down their length as well. If the red was just a little brighter, I'd say this deco would be damn near perfect, at least for a Hasbro figure. Smokescreen's famous 38s are rendered in the standard Autobot script. I've been vocal in my criticism of this script, but I actually like the look of these glyphs, and they definitely look better than what were spotted on initial promotional photography. One of the worst aspects of Smokescreen's deco is the lack of taillights on the back. This section is just a huge sea of blue, so it really needs a splash of red like Blue Streak got, even if the red is too dark. There are slots on the hood allowing Smokescreen's two small guns to perch, acting as a sort of stealth force mode. One thing that's kind of noticeable is that the guns don't exactly sit flush against the curves of the hood. Gee, I wonder if there's a certain company who's made parts to improve this look. Well, if such parts exist, they'll have to wait for another time. And by that, I mean a few days. Once more unto the breach, my friends. Once more unto this transformation scheme. After reviewing the cluttered dumpster fire that was Studio Series Cliff Jumper, a return to the graceful simplicity of the Siege Datsun mold is very welcome. Smokescreen is probably the one out of the four uses of this mold who has the most problems with wanting to cooperate lining everything up for vehicle mode. At least on my copy, you kind of have to flex things to make things fit. So far, I haven't found any stress marks or anything, but it doesn't leave me comfortable. There aren't any problems going from vehicle to robot, thankfully. I still really like how the hood segments with a central shard moving into the torso cavity in order to keep kibble down. It makes the chest very slim and succinct, though part of me wishes the designers could have slimmed down the backpack as well. I know some people have issues with looseness in the knees of this mold, but my Smokescreen's knees are tight enough. Smokescreen's robot mode is the same half-stocky, half-lanky piecemeal mess that we've seen three times prior on this show. I don't think I can understate just how weird this overall design looks. It kind of reminds me how soldiers in antiquity would be fully armored above the waist, with little armor below because with a shield it was unnecessary. Sadly, Smokescreen doesn't come with a shield or even some skirt armor to cover him up decently. Fucking pervert. 
Much like Schrodinger's cat, this look is either really pleasing to look at or a disgusting affront to my eyes, but it depends each time I observe him. I would have bought the Earthrise version since the robot mode looks amazing, but after hearing how many issues that mold has, well, I think I'll just stick with Siege and Selects. Another thing I don't really like about Smoked Green is how boring and bland the revealed robot mode bits are. They're just a sea of flat black parts. It's just a sea of boring from chest to ankle, which is ironic considering how colorful the vehicle mode was. None of the other dots and mold mates have this problem. Prowl had his yellow stripes filled in, Blue Streak had a gunmetal belt, and Barricade at least had clear plastic of a different color. Hell, I still thought Barricade was boring, but black plastic combined with smoky gray clear plastic does not make for a satisfying addition to the color scheme. The head sculpt is on topic at least, though it looks as doofy as ever with the swim cap cowl. The horns add a nice pop of yellow though, making up fractionally for the void below. Smokescreen comes with the exact same weapons loadout as Blue Streak, tying them both as the best Datsuns in terms of accessories. I'm sorry, but a light bar is just not worth sacrificing either the rifle or the shoulder cannons. For some strange reason, the rifle he comes with is cast in blue plastic, but is painted entirely white. It probably has something to do with the sprue allocation, if that word salad means anything to you. The two pistols are cast in a nice, pure, undiluted white. They don't fit too well in his hands due to the rectangular pegs, but they fit just fine up on his shoulders. I like to have the halves of the combined gun modes handle facing outwards, as I pretend that's where you feed the ammo. Smokescreen's articulation is pretty much the exact same as the rest of his brethren. He has a ball-jointed head that allows him to look 360 degrees if you so choose, but it is kind of tight. It's not tight in the same way as Barricade, where his head kind of just snaps back into position if you try to turn it very slightly. A smoke screen, you can turn it however you want and it won't snap back. The arms move outwards on a hinge, they rotate on a swivel, there's a swivel at the bicep, this shoulder piece is also on a conjoined joint. Elbow bends 90 degrees, and the wrist swivel all around. That's cute. The back wings can flap in and out as you please. I like to keep it at a little jaunty angle. It makes it look better. The waist swivels 360 degrees unimpeded. The hips are on a universal joint that allows them to go forward and backward and side to side, though the side to side is actually on a detent, which is something I haven't noticed on any of the others. The knee bend goes pretty much 180 degrees thanks to the sheer hollowness in the back. It's mostly due for transformation though. The foot can tilt forward and it can tilt backwards for transformation. And it can tilt to the side an extreme amount. But like the design of the feet is just really freaking weird. So that I find it rather difficult to get him into any good poses just because his feet are so weird. He can take some nice stances, but he won't really look good doing it, I've found. So yeah, that's about it for Smokescreen's articulation, and that is a wrap on the Siege Datsun mold. There really isn't anything special about Select Smokescreen. If you already have any of the other three Siege Datsuns, you've seen pretty much every trick this pony can do. Really, the only reason he was placed in Selects at all that I can discern is that Prowl and Barricade were already regular release figures and Blue Streak was a Walgreens exclusive, and they all came out in the same year, so the market was already kind of saturated with the fuckers. So that left poor Smokescreen out in the cold, available in the States only through online retailers, ironically making him easier to get than Blue Streak. Blue Streak is still my favorite, but Smokescreen isn't too far behind, getting a solid adequate. If you liked this video or otherwise found it helpful or informative, then please subscribe for more reviews like this in the future, and feel free to suggest topics for future reviews in the comments. When we return, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. This has been Kick Catastrophe. Transform and roll out.